and now you simply play the move queen to g6 threatening two types of checkmate welcome everyone to your chess guide let's continue with our tactical opening series today's opening is none other than max lange attack so let's get started e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 knight f6 a similar setup of Geico piano as well and in the last position as well after black played nf6 attacking the e4 pawn to which white responded by a counter attacking move that is d4 breaking into the center and counter attacking neglecting black's threat of knight into e4 so after d4 black decides to play e into d4 and in the max lange attack white goes for short castle bishop c5 developing the bishop and preparing for short castle white continues with its attack by playing the move e5 and what if the knight goes back to g8 then yes it's a loss of very crucial tempo the knight came to f6 now drops back and then again black has to develop it which means black has wasted three moves on the knight after that after knight to g8 white can simply play bishop g5 and proceed with its advantage so therefore when you don't have defenses look for counter attacking options so therefore black decided to play d5 counter attacking white's bishop on c4 as well as if you save your bishop drop back drop it back to b3 then black will play knight e4 and black has got a good grip into the center so therefore after d5 it is recommended for white players to proceed with the move e into f6 grabbing the knight now black has to take the bishop in order to maintain material equality and in max lange attack most of the players make the same mistake that is they hurry up they immediately capture on g7 considering that they have destroyed the king side pawn structure but you should continue with the basics that is you should play rook e1 check since the king is into the center go for a check and now as per the main lines black proceeds with the move bishop e6 and knight to g5 till here this is completely the main line all standard stuff from here black has to make a decision now white is threatening to take on e6 twice so black has got three to four ways to provide a defense to it black can play queen d7 queen d6 queen d5 queen into f6 or else black can go for short castle we'll have a look at each and every line one by one what if black decides to play short castle saving its king and giving up the pawn back but still this move doesn't save black black is still going to lose the game it's white to play and white has got a very beautiful combination white plays the move rook into e6 f into e6 and f7 check checking the king and once again forcing black to make an important decision black has got two options one is to take the pawn and give up the exchange back and another one is to move the king to h8 either rook f7 or else king h8 in both the lines white is going to win let's see how if there is rook takes f7 first simply you take back black takes back and now exposed king and an unsupported piece are one of the basics of combination that are taught to a beginner here as well the king is exposed and there is an unsupported piece create a double attack there is queen h5 check checking the king king has to go back to g8 and now you simply grab the bishop on c5 let's move back 
so that means after f7 black cannot take rook into f7 so the only option left is king h8 now again there are no pieces of black on the king side to provide a defense to its king so let's jump up with our queen to h5 queen h5 threatening a mate on h7 all black can do is play h6 and now you simply play the move queen to g6 threatening two types of checkmate one is queen h7 mate and another one is if you remove the knight by playing h into g5 queen h5 leads to a mate okay that means short castle is not going to save the day for black so let's move to the next variation what if black plays the move queen to d6 this is also very simple white plays the move rook into e6 f into e6 and now this is very important this move is very important f into g7 attacking the rook or rook to g8 and now queen h5 check king d7 and one move creating two attacks that is double attack knight e4 attacking the queen and the bishop at the same time queen e5 knight into c5 check king goes back swap of the queens attack the knight the knight goes back and now finally knight into e6 grabbing another pawn and threatening to capture d4 as well if required moving back to the another line that means queen d6 is also not a way for black to defend okay let's see what if there is queen into f6 this is very common mistake that every black player makes who is not aware about this position simply white to play and win a piece knight e6 f6 queen h5 check no matter wherever you move not a way for black to defend okay let's see what if there is queen into f6 this is very common mistake that every black player makes who is not aware about this position simply white to play and win a piece knight e6 f6 queen h5 check no matter wherever you move white grabs the bishop on c5 okay moving back same goes with the move queen to d7 as well you take on e6 f6 queen h5 check and now you grab the bishop on c5 so now the final move comes that is queen to d5 let's see if it can help black after queen d5 white plays the move knight to c3 attacks the queen and forces black to retreat the queen so these were the variations of max lange attack hope you all found it useful if you did do like the video share it and subscribe to your chess guide